you have to get intentional about what you are going to do in recovery. It's really easy to spend a lot of time in this journey to eating disorder freedom, focusing on what you aren't going to be doing. You're not going to be restricting. You're not going to be acting in alignment with the eating disorder. You're not going to be engaging in compulsive movement, etc., etc. But something that is really, really important in behaviour change, which is what a lot of recovery comes down to, it's that opposite action, that neural rewiring, that shifting of habitual behaviour patterns. A lot of the time, what that comes back around to is getting clear on what you are going to be doing. So yes, it's really important you're honest with yourself about the things that you are going to be disengaging from, the stuff that you are going to no longer be doing, the stuff that you must stop. But it's not enough to simply stop at that point. You have to then follow that up with getting clear on what you are going to be doing. So around food, this would mean not just stopping at the point of saying, I'm not going to be restricting, I'm not going to do what the eating sort of suggests, but actually to get very clear on what that is then going to mean you are going to do. So you are going to be honouring and actioning your unconditional permission to be eating without restriction. You are going to be actioning all sorts of different behaviours that are going in the opposite direction to what the eating disorder suggests. When it comes to movement, it's not enough to simply say, I'm not going to be engaging in compulsive movement. I'm not going to be going and doing that walk or doing this thing or doing that cleaning or whatever it might be. Actually, what it's really useful to do is to follow that up by saying, I am going to sit down and watch that box set. I am going to cuddle my pet. I am going to sit down and do that jigsaw puzzle whilst eating lots of biscuits. Getting really clear on what you are going to be doing is a critical component of behaviour change. And it's really important in recovery that you do this because it enables you to shift your attention onto the thing that you are going to do, the thing that you want to do, and the behaviours and actions that are going to be driving you in the direction that you want to go. So, something to be doing right here, right now, today, in whatever area that you may be struggling to follow through with action around, or maybe struggling with consistency around, is to get really clear on what you are going to be doing. And personally, this was something that I found particularly helpful around prioritising rest and disengaging from compulsive movement. I got really clear with myself about what I was going to do, not simply stopping at the awareness of what I must stop doing. So I would absolutely get clear on right. Here are all these box sets that I want, which here is a pile of movies. Here is a pile of jigsaw puzzles and a card making kit. And here is lots and lots and lots of biscuits and snacks and food. And those were the things that I really shifted my attention onto. Because when we simply say to ourselves, I'm not going to go on that walk, what we are actually doing is centering our attention on that thing. And so, yes, it's important that we get honest with ourselves and go, no, I'm not going on that walk. But then to follow that up with, I am going to sit down, watch that film, put that jigsaw and eat lots of biscuits. That's what I'm going to do. It's a really, really important thing. So let me know in the comments below what you are going to be doing that is aligned with your recovery. And remember, this is not just a talking space. This is a doing space. So go and take this learning and make it happen in your world, in your recovery. I hope that's been really helpful. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope that you have a wonderful day.